Hello people of the internet and today I'm going to be showing you our new addition to our rifle collection. This is the C number no. 4 Mark 1 Star Long Branch made in 1950. This is a Lee Enfield rifle, shoots at the .303 British round and uh, this one was meant for service in Korea but it did not see it and this one is in excellent condition as you can see it still has its Cosmoline grease on it. We bought this, uh, well we acquired this rifle at Mill Arm in Edmonton, Alberta uh, by doing a trade. We traded two pistols for this excellent specimen of a rifle and uh, we're probably just going to keep this one in the safe because it's in excellent condition and it's a long branch. Long branch factory was in uh, Ontario uh, they produced from uh, the Second World War all the way up to 1953 I think. It's, it's, it's really too bad they stopped making these excellent rifles as they, uh, well, they're great for basically everything. Like, they, they might not be the best hunting rifle, but they, they can do the job. They're adequate. Uh, they, Lee Enfields, they have this uh, Calcon closing bolt that was designed by James Paris Lee and first put on the Lee Medford rifles. Uh, cock and closing means if I rotate it here, it's a little bit hard to have to hold the camera, and if you lift up the bolt head, something like a Mauser action or a Mosin Gant action, uh, by doing that you just cock the rifle, but with the cock on closing that doesn't happen. As you can see, the, the firing pin stays in its uh, not cocked position. About the Lee Enfield bolt, uh, it's cock and closing so you can be extremely fast uh, with it. According to Wikipedia, you can get off um, 25 to 30 shots a minute with the bolt action. Uh, it's safe. The long branch safeties, they look different than the uh, British ones. It's moving around a little bit. They got this sort of uh, like a foot shape, while, whilst the British ones have a hole in the middle. Let's try to just put that safety back. Oh, and uh, this position is safe, and this position is unsafe. We got the ladder sight here. Sorry about the shaky camera, it's a bit hard with one hand on the camera. And this one, you can adjust it to uh, better zoom shaking. <laughs> so it's not doesn't want to focus for some reason. But anyways, that's the ladder sight, you can adjust that for your long range. And then you got the standard uh, peep sight for like uh, your average distance of like uh, 100 plus meters. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, then a difference between uh, the number four Mark One and Mark Two models from the ooh, from the uh, older number one Mark Three models is the um, the muzzle end is actually sticking out from the rifle, whilst the S old SMLE versions the muzzle is fully enclosed. Then, um, let's take a look at the other side of the rifle. There we go. Here's the other side of it. And there's a bayonet lug. Let's try to focus. Yep, there we go. Bayonet lug. And I uh, get a nice picture of all the wood. 10 round magazine. That was uh, basically a great thing about this rifle, as most rifles at the time had five rounds in their magazine max. Uh, you can this magazine is also detachable, so you can feed it by the magazine. So say you got um, an extra magazine that has ten rounds loaded into it, you just pop out your old magazine and shove a new one in. You got ten rounds right there, but it wasn't designed for that. Yeah, it was designed to be fed by stripper clips. Uh, five round chargers that you would load through the top here by opening the bolt and they would sit in the magazine uh, But uh, let me go grab a 303 cartridge. I'll be right back Okay, so here is what this thing fires is a shell casing from a 303 that we shot uh, a while ago from our sporter Oh, whoops. And um, it's a rimmed cartridge. Just focus that. Uh, there we go. Yeah, 303 British. 
and as you can see by its rim, which means when you're loading in the stir clip, if you don't want any trouble loading, what you want to do is you want to load your your um, your rims overlapping each other, and they'll just go flush right in. If you don't do that, you'll get rim lock, and that will make it harder to cycle. And um, we, we might do actually a shooting video of this. It's a great rifle, and uh, go get one yourself. You can find them anywhere. They can be from 500 bucks to 2000 for all I know. We actually have an Irish contract, number 4 Mark II, that was wrapped in its uh, original mummy wrapped paper. Yeah, that one we will never shoot because it's too collectible. And uh, sadly, I don't want to take off the trigger. Well, I don't don't want to cycle the bolt because it's too much of a hassle. Just take off the trigger lock and then reset the firing pin. Um, background information of this rifle: This rifle was the uh, main service rifle of the British Empire from uh, eighteen from the eighteen nineties all the way to nineteen fifty seven. Which gave me a, like a uh, career span of sixty years. And it was eventually replaced by the L1A1, basically a British FNFAL. That's a sight. Not bad. So we've got that beautiful grease on it. Focus over there. And that's the forward sight. Oh, and um, more about the rifle. Uh, the rifle saw action in various conflicts, um, notable ones being World War One, Korean War, World War II. Uh, it was probably used in Vietnam by the Viet Cong. Wouldn't be surprised because they used really anything. And um, it, it's still seeing service today with um, the Indian police with, in the form of the Isha 4 2A1, the one that's chambered in 7.62 7 by 51 millimeter NATO. Uh, and this rifle is still seeing a service with uh, terrorist groups like ISIS, and the uh, rebel fighters, and the uh, Taliban. And um, rifle weighs about nine pounds, and uh, very fast, um, very fast bolt because it's cock on closing. Yeah, and that's our new number four, Mark uh, number four, no, C Mark four number one Mark. Ah. Bleh. This is our new C number no. four Mark One Star Lee Enfield from the Long Branch Company. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.